Guys, a touching virtual vigil in our nation's capital for 307 officers, including Officer Rutherford, who died in the line of duty trying to help victims of a car accident. From the state of Arizona, Paul Thomas Rutherford. The name of the Maryvale officer now rests on a memorial in Washington, D.C. with others who swore to protect and serve. Our hearts go out to the families, friends, and co-workers of the fallen. In March of 2019, Officer Paul Rutherford answered his final call. He was my best friend, my protector, my counselor, and my hero. His youngest son struggling to come to grips with the loss of his dad the day of his funeral. He was the best father a son could ever ask for. Chief Jerry Williams expressing the heartache felt by the force right after the accident. So during tragedies like this, we're broken. Uh, in fact, our community is broken, we're broken. Uh, the public safety community, including the fire department, broken and really mourning the loss. That day, Officer Rutherford, a 22-year veteran, responding to a crash near 75th Avenue and Indian School, running to help Alma Pineda. I, I saw it. it. I saw all of it. Police say another call came in across the street. Officer Rutherford responded, taking his final steps as a truck accidentally hit him. Um, he stopped hugging and then the other officers came and gave him CPR. Joining the 21,910 already engraved there. Now, more than a year later, Officer Rutherford's wife, two sons, and his family in blue continue to pay their respects. Dad, we love you and miss you. And know you're watching us right now. If you want to watch the entire virtual ceremony honoring Officer Rutherford and the others who died in the line of duty, you can find the link to do that on the 12 News app. Rachel Cole, 12 News.